Prevalent Pressure Relieving Heel Protector is the number one selling brand of heel protection. It's clinically proven to prevent and treat heel pressure ulcers and prevent contractures. Prevalent helps minimize pressure, friction, and shear on the feet, heels, and ankles of non-ambulatory patients. It completely offloads the heel, delivering total continuous pressure relief. The human and financial costs of heel pressure ulcers are extremely high. Longer length of stay, higher infection and amputation risk, and even death can result from heel pressure ulcers. Financially, CMS estimates the cost of treating just one stage 3 or 4 pressure ulcer is more than $43,000. Annual treatment costs for heel ulcers are a staggering $2.2 to $3.6 billion. And CMS will not reimburse hospitals for stage 3 or 4 pressure ulcers not present on admission. Prevalon gives you proven prevention and treatment of heel pressure ulcers, making your protocol easy to follow. It has more clinical proof than any other brand of heel protection. One recently published study found the use of Prevalon and a heel ulcer prevention protocol led to a 95% decrease in heel pressure ulcers. The same facility also realized an estimated cost savings of more than a million dollars through prevention. In addition, more and more professional organizations are recommending heel protection devices that relieve pressure by elevating the heel off the bed. Prevalon comes in three sizes. Prevalon Standard fits most patients. Prevalon XL fits patients with larger legs and feet and Prevalent Petite is designed for smaller patients. An integrated foot and leg stabilizer wedge is included on Prevalent Standard and XL to help prevent lateral foot and leg rotation. A detached wedge is also available for use on products without the integrated wedge. Now we'd like to show you how simple it is to properly apply Prevalent. This video features Prevalent Standard with integrated wedge, although application instructions are the same for all three sizes. To begin, open the bag at the perforation. Instructions are printed on the bag and can be referred to at any time. Prevalon is packaged inside out to make it easy to properly position the heel. Place Prevalon on the bed with the long side next to your patient's leg. Position the heel over the opening. This is essential to float or offload the heel. Prevalon Standard has four intermittent compression device access ports. These are compatible with most ICDs and help boost compliance to your DVT prevention protocol. When using an ICD, place Prevalon under your patient's foot. Select the appropriate access port on the boot and route the device tubing through. Do not use the heel hole as an access port. Next, pull the sides of the boot up and around the foot and toes, ankle, and lower leg. If the tag is at the bottom of the boot like this, it is on correctly. If the boot has an integrated foot and leg stabilizer wedge, position the wedge on the outside or lateral side of the leg. Carefully affix the wedge to the side of the boot. If using an ICD, check the tubing to make sure it isn't kinked or bent inside the boot. Also, make sure it is positioned away from the skin. Now you're ready to fasten the straps. Remove the fabric strip that's over the fasteners on the stretch panels and throw it away. Attach the wide black stretch panel covering the shin. Next, attach the white stretch panel covering the ankle. Then attach the black contracture strap across the front of the foot. This strap supports the upright position of the foot and helps prevent plantar flexion contracture. The stretch panels can be adjusted from both sides to ensure a secure, comfortable fit. Check to make sure the opening in the wide black panel is centered over the shin. For boots without the additional ICD access ports, this opening is what will be used for the ICD tubing. If using an ICD, connect the tubing to the pump. Eliminate any slack in the tubing by tugging gently. Finally, make sure the heel is floated. Check by looking or feeling in the opening at the bottom of the boot. If the heel isn't floated, reposition the heel and readjust the stretch panels. If you're using the detached foot and leg stabilizer wedge, slide the wedge across the mattress and onto the outside of the boot. Lift the leg and slide the clear plastic panel under the boot. Remember, Prevalon is for use on non-ambulatory patients only and should be removed prior to ambulation. Do not allow your patients to stand or walk while wearing Prevalon. Prevalent should be removed periodically to assess skin according to your protocol. To remove, simply detach the stretch panels, remove the boot, and turn it inside out. This makes it easier to position the heel while putting Prevalent back on. A damp cloth can be used to wipe down the boot. When you use Prevalent, you not only get the number one selling brand of heel protection, you also get unmatched resources. A customizable protocol, decision trees, and a cost justification tool are just some of the valuable tools to help make your heel ulcer prevention program a success. 
and ask us how you can validate the success of your clinical and financial outcomes with our Customer One Data Analysis Program. Like all of Sage's products, Prevalon is made with pride in the USA. For more information on Prevalon and other Sage products, just call 1-800-323-2220 or visit our website at www.sageproducts.com.